Hey everybody, it's Scott Pinyard, head coach of This Naked Mind, and I want to talk to you about something. You know, we get a lot of people that write in and they're like, so what exactly can I expect if I quit drinking? And I know that might be a weird question to you. I know for me in my journey, you know, there were very specific things that I wanted, right? I wanted to wake up without a hangover, right? I wanted to feel like I had a clearer head. I wanted to spend less money on alcohol. Um, and so those were the things that I went into this journey about. But, you know, what I found is the effects are way bigger and way more than that. And so as we're rolling into January, as we're getting ready for the January 2021 live alcohol experiment, I want to take just a second and actually talk to you about what those things are that you get when you give up alcohol. See, we phrase this all the time as not looking at what you're giving up, but what you're gaining. And so I wanted to define what those things are that you're gaining. And yes, by the way, it's absolutely true. Um, you know, I found that when I quit drinking, I did wake up without hangovers. I did get rid of that brain frog. I did stop spending <laughs> all that money on alcohol. Um, but there's so much more there, right? So what we do in the live alcohol experiment is we take 30 days to take a break from alcohol to say, okay, what is it that actually changes in my life, right? We call it an experiment on purpose because we're going to change one variable in our lives and then see what happens, right? That's what this is all about. Now, I want to tell you a little bit more about what happened to me when I gave up alcohol and what some of the unexpected benefits were um, in terms of just improvements to my life. So I already talked about the things that I knew I was going to experience. Let me tell you some things that I didn't know I was going to experience. One of those things I didn't know I was going to experience was a significant change in the clarity with which I related to everyone around me. Right. Um, there were relationships that were difficult in my life. I still have relationships that are difficult in my life, but the way that I can connect and work through those relationships now is way easier. Right. It's way less stress. My ability to connect with someone else, either someone I love or someone I'm struggling with, understand where they're coming from and then come to a resolution has just changed dr my life dramatically. Now, that might not seem like a very big deal and certainly not one that I would want to put on the first one on my list, but the reality of the situation is changing the way you relate to other people changes everything about your life, right? And that is what I've experienced. Another thing I've experienced is a different ability, a, a higher ability to understand what I'm thinking right? To not go down the rabbit holes that I was going down of stress and anxiety, um, to actually be able to help myself and meet my own needs. See, one of the things that happens with alcohol over time is we start to, you know, it'll happen with something simple. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's, you have a bad day at work, right? I'm, I'm at work and I'm stressed out and man, I could really use a drink. You take that drink and you feel immediately at least for a little while, better. And your brain catches on to that, right? Your brain knows, oh wait, when you're stressed out and you wanna feel better, just grab this drink. Well, maybe it starts with something like stress and then it turns into something like uh, sadness and then it turns into something like anger and pretty soon before you know it, all of these emotions that you're having, all of these ways that you're feeling, the answer to all of those ends up being alcohol. So when you take alcohol away, you actually experience that wide range of emotions. Now, you might be saying, wait a minute, that doesn't sound like a positive. Actually, it very much is. Because emotions are the way that our brains, our minds tell us, hey, something's up here. There's something you got to deal with, man, right? Whatever that happens to be. And when you numb that stuff out, you don't end up then dealing with that thing, right? And so that's the second thing for me that was such an, a huge game changer was that, yes, I was feeling those emotions, but feeling those emotions, I, I was able to interpret the, them, them then as signals of things I need to address. And then I would actually address those things. See, when I was drinking, I would get mad about the same thing over and over and over and over. And, and the reason that that happened was that I had this little button I could push so I didn't feel mad in the moment, right? That's how I saw it. That's how I viewed it. So I got rid of that emotion, but I didn't deal with the problem. So after, after quitting drinking, uh, yes, I was feeling a lot of those emotions, but it was pushing me to actually deal with those problems, which leads me to number three. 
my life literally changed and it improved in such a way, right? And part of that was dealing with those problems. But the other part of that was, you know, we have this thing that we say at this naked mind where you can't selectively numb. So while I was numbing the negative things, I was also numbing the positive things. And so once I quit drinking, the happiness I was able to experience, the goofiness with my kids, the silliness, um, you know, with my friends, all of those things that I felt like I had lost over time, all of those things came back as well. So I had a much fuller emotional life, a much wider spectrum of emotions that I was able to feel. Um, and just like anything else, I was able to enjoy it with a clear head, right? The last reason, and this is probably the biggest one, and it's one that you've heard before, but I do want to go into a little bit, is being able to be present, Right. So I, for a very long time, you know, with people in my family, with my wife, with my kids, with my coworkers, with my neighbors, I was around like, yeah, I was there, but I wasn't fully present. They didn't get all of me. And suddenly after I quit drinking, I found that I was able to be 100% there for them. All of my relationships improved, every single one of them. My relationship with my immediate family, with my extended family, my relationship with my friends, my relationship with my best friend, who I haven't lived near in 20 years, got better, right? Everything changed. <clears throat> Everything shifted because I was there, because I was present. So those are just a few of the things that you will get <clears throat> in the live alcohol experiment. Now, the question is, is that going to happen for you? you know what? There's one way to find out. There is one way to see, man, are these things waiting for me on the other side of alcohol? And that is if you join us for the January 2021 live alcohol experiment. So we are kicking off on January 1st with daily content. Every single day, there will be a new video dropped and that video will be giving you information about how alcohol affects you, how it affects your body, how it affects your emotions, how it affects your thinking. This is not like shame-based sort of information. This is just facts. We want you to know and get a sense of this is these are the effects that are happening with alcohol. In addition to the daily videos, there are daily live coaching sessions that happen on Facebook. And what happens in those coaching sessions is our amazing and talented Naked Mind coaches answer your questions live about anything. You can literally ask them anything um, and they will answer you. <clears throat> this is your way to get your specific questions answered, to be in a place where you are, uh, you you are asking the things that are that are happening to you. And I want to add one thing to it, which is always amazing to me. And I find this when I watch these videos as well. People always have questions that you didn't know you had, right? So being able to watch those live videos, being able to hear the answers that are coming from the coaches is an amazing experience because it helps you sort of round out this knowledge that that we're giving you with the daily content. Um, Finally, and this is probably the coolest part, to be honest with you, we go through this as a group. There are going to be a lot of people in this live alcohol experiment. You are going to find someone you connect with, right? This group is a place where you can share, hey, this was an amazing day. Look at this thing I did. Or, hey, this was harder than I thought. What have you guys, how have you dealt with this situation before? Going through this as a group, going through this together makes such a massive difference as we all kind of travel through this month together and do an experiment, right? Find out with curiosity, how is this going, right? Being curious and saying, okay, what's going to happen? Right, being curious and saying, hey, you know, I heard this guy talk about all these really lofty ideas of being in touch with his emotions and more present for people. Is that happening for me? Right, we're able to approach this whole thing with a sense of curiosity. So I wanna invite you to join me and some amazing coaches and a whole lot of people who are also curious about the same thing, which is what am I gonna gain if I go 30 days without alcohol? So click the link that's with this video and join us today. This is going to be an amazing experience. I really, really hope to see you in there.